I wanted to take just a minute to give you a couple little tips on your uh, using your Wonder Mill canister and setting up your Wonder Mill. One of the one of the things we hear people say is they have a, if they're not if they don't have strong hands or strong fingers is removing this lid sometimes can be can can be a little bit of a problem. There's three tabs. You'll notice three different tabs on here. If you'll notice that this tab that's just below the um, pivoting spout. If you grab that one, it's, a, it's got a little space there and it's real easy. It's, got, it's real flexible right there. So it, instead of trying to grab one of these thick ones, the, grab the tab that's on this side underneath the spout and you'll notice it's very easy to pull off there. Really simple. And then you'll hear it snap back on. Easy to pull off. If you try to, some people try to get a hold of it and pull it off that way. It's, it's, you can do it that way, but it's super easy if you just take this tab right here and pop it. Comes right off every time. So that's just a little tip. Um, one, another little tip is people will call and ask us about the cyclo cup. First of all, they want to know what is this little cup for? The cyclo cup is designed so that when your flour comes in from the side of the mill and into your canister, the flour shoots in and if the cyclo cup is not in place, the flour will just pile up on one side of the canister. So if you did not have your cyclo cup in, it would still work, but it would pile up uh, on the left, on this front side of the canister and then it would eventually clog it up. So it's real important to put the cyclo cup because the cyclo cup keeps the flour feeding constantly in a circle and it layers it in and it gives you the maximum filling and all the micronizing mills on the market you'll see use the cyclo cup so this is nothing new to us. Um, I want to show you how to install your cyclo cup. Now on our newest models of mills you're going to see a little red triangle on the cyclo cup and you're also going to see a little red triangle on the lid. If you have this model, this is super easy. All you do is you simply line up the triangle points right together and push on. And it just pushes on. It's just a snap connection. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you don't have one of these models, you're going to notice, and we'll get, we get this question too, there's a little tab. And I'll show you that. That little white tab. People get confused and they think that, that this is supposed to go somehow over the top of that tab, this cup. But that tab is just an indicator. In fact, lots of times that will snap off and it's fine. It's just a, a little guide, a little line. But if you look inside of this cup, you're going to notice it's, it's round and then it has a flat spot on this side. Well, the flat spot corresponds with that tab. When you put this together, that little flat spot lines up parallel with that tab. And that's just a guide tab. So you'll notice on this newer model you would you can line it up that way or and you'll also notice that the two the two um, arrows triangles line up so it's 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 real easy to do here's another little trick I'm going to show you if you have an old whisper mill or an old um, one of the first model wonder mills if you get tired of trying to line that up you can put this in place snap it into place make sure that the tab and the flat spot are lined up if you have a permanent marker Simply take your permanent marker and make yourself an arrow. It's real easy to do. It's, it's permanent. It's not going to come off there. And then from time, from the next time you use it, you're going to notice you have a red mark there and red mark there. Easy to remember. You don't have to ever, you know, the next time you get it out, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about whether or not um, that's being shown. So that's just a couple little things that you can do. One other thing that we get some, from time to time is customers will call and say, I think my cyclo cup is broken or it has a piece missing. And what they're seeing is, and I'll try to show you this, is when they look at it, if they look at this little curve right here, that looks, if you look at looking at it, it almost looks like a piece broke out of it. But it's not. It's part of the mold design. Uh, and so just rest assured that that is very, very normal. Um, if you call us, we're going to probably refer you to look at this and see um, that that is, a, that is a normal part of the mold. That's not broken. And once we explain that to people, they understand. That's just part of the design. Again, I want you to look inside this cup, and you're going to notice on this one edge, it's, it's flat. That's the flat spot that we're talking about. 
try to get that nice and straight for you. But that flat spot right there is the flat spot that lines up with this tab parallel. And like I said, the e one of the easiest things that you can do is snap it into place the first time if you don't have the little, if your machine doesn't have the little triangle marks on it, you can make your own. And I simply did that by taking a red pen, permanent marker, and putting a red mark. So the next time you do it, real easy to snap it into place and you remember where you're at. Little tips that you might be aware of.